a patient came to you with placid paraplegia with sensory intake, falling a respiratory tract infection or a diarrhea. Suspect the cause is uh, GBS or Guillain Barre syndrome. It is very common in the Southeast Asia or in Western countries. To learn more about GBS, please watch the full video. Hi, I'm Dr. Amina Nor. You are watching my channel, Medics, so let's begin. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a disorder of the peripheral nervous system caused by the body's immune system. The syndrome often begins days or weeks after a flu-like illness. Normal conduction along peripheral nerves is facilitated by myelin sheaths. The autoimmune effects in Guillain-Barre syndrome cause inflammatory changes that cause myelin to deteriorate and slow resultant nerve conduction. This leads to ascending muscle weakness or paralysis affecting the lower extremities initially. In advanced cases, the paralysis may ascend into the thorax, weakening the muscles associated with respiration. This can lead to respiratory failure and may be life-threatening. Gullinger syndrome is a demilating disorder of the nerves, which occurs after infection uh, by microplasma or cytomegalovirus or campylobacter jejuni. When a patient came to you with classic paraplegia with sensory intent, suspected cause as a GBS, as upper respiratory tract infection, which is caused by microplasma and diarrheal illness caused by campylobacter jejuni, is very common. Now, what are the types of GBS? First of all, there is AIDP, acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy which is demyelinating nature and there is an external nature which is AMSAN and AMAN. In AMAN, acute motor external neuropathy and AMSAN, acute motor sensor, sensory external neuropathy. This is the variety of the GBS. Now what is the clinical feature the patient may present to you? There may be a paresthesia and pain in the scapular region and the lumbar region followed by a ascending paralysis involving the lower limb. Uh, they are may be, the sensory may be intake or involved mildly. Uh, there may be autonomic involvement such as accelerated hypertension, tachyarrhythmia such as supraventricular tachycardia, bradyarrhythmia, then uh, abdominal pain or sphincter involvement. These are very rare. Uh, the capillary edema may occur due to accelerated hypertension or uh, there is increased protein in the CSF, so CSF cannot be reabsorbed properly in the brain. So this is the clinical features of the GBS. Now, what are the findings of the clinical examination? First of all, the higher psychic function, including speech, is normal. Then in the cranial nerve, including ophthalmoscopy, we might find bilateral seventh nerve palsy or sixth nerve palsy with papillary edema. Now, on the motor function, uh, the bulk is normal, tone is decreased due to classic paraplegia. The power ranging from the 0 by 5 to 4 by 5, depending on the severity. Then the sensory may be intake or may be slightly involved. Then uh, the coordination test or cerebellum is intact. The size of nutrition is usually intact or normal and the gait usually normal or cannot be evaluated due to severe weakness. Uh, this, is the clinical find, uh, this is the clinical findings which you may 
finding the patient with GBS. In investigation, we should do a CSF examination after 10 days. Before 10 days, the CSF examination may be normal. In CSF, there will be albuminocytological dissociation where the protein is very high and the uh, cells are very low, as well as less than 20 per centimeter cube. Then we can do an NCS after seven days, uh, where the features of demyelination may be present, where the conduction block and multifocal motor uh, slowing may be present. We should do a PC because to detect whether the patient has developed respiratory failure or not, and ABG for intubation is needed or not. And there are some antibodies uh, such as anti-GM1 can find in uh, external variants. Now what, are, what is the management of the GPS? First of all, we should do the physiotherapy, the supportive treatment for bed sore or nutritional support. Uh, IVIG should be given when there is impending respiratory failure, such as if this is less than 20 ml per kg, then, and respiratory maximum pressure is less than 30 cm of water, then there is uh, rapid progression of the uh, disease, there is upper limb involvement, then the, if there is vulvar involvement or bilateral facial involvement, if there is, uh, if the abuse is less than 1.1. IVIG and prognosis should not be used for mine because there is no extra benefit from it. The prognosis is usually good in case of GBS. 80% of the patient may recover fully in three to six months. Four per, uh, four, uh, about 4% of the patient may die due to respiratory failure or cardiac arrhythmia or valvular palsy. And 16% patient may develop residual neurological signs or symptoms. What are the four prognostic features of the GBS? Uh, the four prognostic feature is uh, if the patient is old more than 60 years, the progression of the symptoms is very rapidly, there is a pretty involved man, then there is a cardiac variety, if the GM1 activity is very high, if the FVC is less than 1.1, then the, uh, uh, in AVG, the oxygen is less than uh, 8 and the carbon dioxide is less more than 6, then there is power paralysis, autonomic involvement, and bilateral facial weakness. These are the photoplastic feature of the GBS. Now, there is a variant of the GBS which is known as Miller Fisher syndrome, where the air flexia, ataxia, and internal external ophthalmophagia can be occurred, and there is a descending paralysis. In Miller Fisher variant, it is very uh, important in MRCP examination where the anti uh, GQ1B antibody is present. There is a another variant or uh, similar to the GBS, which is known as bigger step encephalitis where the breast reflex, air, air reflexia and ophthalmophagia is present and the patient may be drowsy. It, is, it also occurs due to campylobacter jejun infection and uh, there is uh, anti-GM1 antibodies present. Now that's all from our GBS today. Hope the video helped you a lot. Uh, if you have any comment or query, please comment below. If you like the video, please press the like button. If you want to know about any other disease, please comment below. I will try to make a video for you and subscribe and share. Thank you.